Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Wednesday. We're back in the studio. Car chase go good yesterday? Yeah, I'm going to show you a clip here in a second. Okay. Uh, it's, um, I, we're shooting this a little short and our first little car chase. I think I could have, now that I've done it, I know stuff I could do better and what course, I want to do. Of course. So. <clears throat> Are you going to redo it? No. No, 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 no. Because it's the timing of the other people that I got to bring back out that I that are doing it on their time. So it's something I'll. If it learn. was a Hollywood movie, you'd redo it. Oh, I would add five if, or six if more it was, shots. If it was Top Gun, you'd have them swing that boat around. I'd swing one more that time. boat around. I'd write them Even a hot check. Even though you check. didn't have the money, <laughs> <laughs> I'd write them a hot check. But that, that kind of leads me into the deal: is if I know what I can do better, I can't go back. I, I could go back and fix it, but that would be asking you, other people, come back, give me your time, and I go, okay, it's not going to matter to the person watching the shots that I missed. They'll never know. Right. So do you, in life, go, I'm going to go back and fix that, or next time, it's I will It's make funny sure. you said that. It's funny you said that. My dog's going to be. For... Years and years, I have flown by the seat of my pants. Right. And I won't go into detail, but there was things that needed to be taken care of that I just kind of dodge, right, right, you know, right, and, right, and not right. take care of it. Right. And now with kind of my new life, I'm starting to go, all right, I need to clean up all these ends that I hadn't taken care of. Okay. And... I, dang, it feels good. So, when it comes to that car chase, man, it would make me feel better if I went and redid it, but it involves other people. Correct. And I wouldn't waste their time if no one knows any better. Yeah. that That's a great deal. No one knows what you're cleaning up. Right. It's stuff that you... It's what you're cleaning up. No one knows it, but it makes you feel better. Yes. And... No one's going to know that I wanted six more shots in there and not one person will know it. But next time, yeah, right. I'll know what to ask. I, I, you know, this dog's gonna I, be I, I do believe uh, we can always make something better if you pay attention to the past. I agree. And you paid attention to what was going on. Couldn't fix it at that moment. But from now on, you can fix it. I'll be able to fix it. So yeah. in life, people need to do the same thing. You know, take your take your story. Hopefully, that makes somebody else think before they react in a bad way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's, I had a lot of comments on that. And my dad sent me a personal message. Thank you, Pop. He sent me one, too. And it's hard to... But every morning. Yeah. Same one. It's hard to <clears throat> remember... That sorry sometimes ain't gonna bring back what happens. Right. Sorry's just gonna make you feel bad of like, why did I do that? I think learning from the can past. We, is, can we? Well, let's talk about that for a minute because I ahead. wasn't on the show and I didn't get to rebut it all. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That dude's gonna be a dick next time too. Yeah. I think it's pretty and much. And next all his time. Life. Yeah. And next time. I don't think punching him in the nose changes things. I, I take that back. He probably <laughs> wouldn't do it again. But what makes him change? What makes him think before he goes goes crazy over... I would have watched the end of the movie. I'm telling you. I would have watched the end of that movie. I would have went. I'm going to go back in there. I will not put my feet up. I apologize. If I broke the rule, I won't do it again, and I went and finished that movie. There ain't no way that dude would have made me leave. Oh, yeah. He didn't have to make me leave. It's just that moment of my frustration and anger, I'm not in the movie. I'm not going in there to... I'm not going for Spike. I'm going for Spike. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, yeah. But... Uh, you know, but what what makes him not take things as serious? His come to Jesus. It's his 
his revelation in life that he thinks he's right. So, so if somebody punches him in the nose. Somebody probably. will punch him in the nose. That's Hopefully they catch him before he hurts himself. But that, you know what? Might have just took a little shove in the chest to make him realize it too. But hopefully the dude never gets punched. I, I don't want ever want that to happen. But I was just thinking, okay, that guy won. Not saying Russell should punch him. All right. That guy won. But what could have been done to make him see, man, it was, was it, I, he's missing the movie. At 60, does he think in his mind, in his demeanor, that's his whole life. So he's not going to change until, like you said, he gets a punch or a push. So I don't think it's about the movie for him. I think it's about I'm going to make the, I'm going to as as the mo, as the movie be, as the manager of the place maybe they should have removed him. Well, maybe maybe they should have went you're causing just as much of the disturbance. We did not walk in there. We did not catch him. It is your word against his. I'm not going to believe it. You caused the incident. You need to leave. Here's him. what they did and they're all young. We will give both y'all's money back, whatever, and they're shaking like leaves. We'll give both your money back. And he went, that's the rules, that's how it goes. And I just took the higher road and went, hey, I'm out. I, I, I know what you did. So they can't, saying, they can't win. I don't think they can win because if he goes, no, I'm going back in, these kids can't stop it unless they call the law. Well, was the kid a manager? Yeah. We had the woman. We had the young 22-year-old Well, kid. I think they need to... So they need to go over it in a staff meeting on how to how to take that situation, because it sounds like he was causing more of a disturbance than oh, you. Oh yeah, it's easy. Hush, it's easy. You I'm just, gonna punch him in the nose. <laughs> it's just they call the law. Friday night you have the law there. You know what I mean. So this is Saturday afternoon, and the police handle it. But it's just that thing of hey, each each him me you. Shane Christensen, all. you just handle it different. Yeah, you know, you take take and mix alcohol into that, and maybe one of our buddies that's watching it doesn't do what he did. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, there's, there's so many different variables. But, you know, I, I wouldn't expect anything other than you turning and walking away. That's been you from yeah. forever. You will talk a little trash to somebody, but at the end of the day... You you ain't in to hurt nobody, and no. it, hell, it, I'm proud of you for it. I'd have felt super bad, and there, then I'd have got, hey man, great job kicking that sixty guy of year old ass and pushing him down a the theater, and I'd be like, oh man. Well, you have had your ass kicked by an eighty something year old. Yeah, hit me right there, dude. Knock me out cold, and how were you like eighteen or so? Uh, I was eighteen, living in Kansas, working at a mental health facility right. for adults. And That's I was, why I brought it up because it's it's a funny story, it is. And, you know. And I would, when they would, the orderlies would like, or, you know, the nurses would be like, "Hey, we got to get him in his room. He's eighty years old, and he's very strong for an eighty-year-old man." And I was trying to help him to his room. He told me, "Don't touch him." He told me, "Don't touch him." And I'm like, "Ah, come on, come on, Bobby, let's go, let's go." And I pat him, and he swung around, hit me square in the temple, knocked me square <laughs> out, hit the wall, fell down. And I'm like, "God, be that guy was tough." So see, maybe at least one old guy needed to die. <laughs> that could have been karma. All right, today is chicken fried steak, isn't it? Yeah, chicken fried steak. Yeah. I got it up right here. And sponsor of the day, get your fitness on at Elysium Fitness. And I'm hoping they might be moving the cryo down there with it, mixing it yeah. together. I'll be super happy about that. Man, we got a new sponsor. Maybe we'll have it up tomorrow. If not, we'll have it up next week Dang yeah, right. for all your construction needs. Ooh. And his woman is way tougher than both of us. Probably. Probably. Yes. Hey, man, have a great day. We got a bowl tonight. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. Out of here.